he has going. So we're gonna have a nut bar, which is in here, right? It's gonna be present everywhere except for login. And I'm gonna show you how to do this with um, React Router. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, my apologies for, I mean, I'm using old React Router syntax, but I haven't upgraded yet. So my knowledge, so apologies for that. Okay, so we have navbar appearing everywhere, right? Right now, right, we'll go everywhere, there is navbar. So the first thing you do is you need to create a component that is going to, um, we call it, maybe show navbar. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want, right? But I just call it maybe show navbar. Okay, so now we need to create it in our components. Where are components? Okay. Let's just copy it. Now, I, I use folders because um, sometimes you want to do styling and Okay, so the first thing we do, we need to um, get children as properties. So there's a children and then children like this. And now we need to import it into our app, right? So import, oops. Um, like this. Okay, so so far it's going to work like normal, right? Okay, so the next thing we need to do. Okay, what is this? Hmm. So where is navbar? It just keeps re telling me that it's re-rendered. Okay. So the second thing we want to do is we want to make sure that every time navigation changes, uh, this component tracks navigation changes. Right. So the way to do that is we need a um, use effect hook. And then we need a use state. Okay, and then we also need. Um, I think it's called use navigation. Use navigate, yeah. Use navigate from reactor to DOM. So we do const. Oh no, not use navigate, use location, I think it's called. My apologies. Use location. Right, so const location is gonna be equal to. Um, use location and now we're gonna do use effect and then we're gonna put location in here so every time location changes this is going to re-render okay so look console log whoopsie Uh, this is location and then location so we are going to see what are we going to see we are going to see the location popping up every time something happens right so this is location we go to login and it tells me the location, right? So now it's register, now it's home, now it's login. So now we're gonna create a condition where if um, path name is login, 
we do not show children as elements. And that's about it. That's how easy it is, right? So, we need to create a state, const, no navbar, set no navbar, use state, and then false. Wait. Actually, to make logic simpler, we're gonna say show navbar. Otherwise, we can get confused. Say show navbar. Like this. Okay. So, location. Now we need to do if location path name equals to login and then we want set show bar to false and then else set show bar to true and now this is very simple so if show navbar is true we're gonna show children Otherwise, we're not gonna show children, right? So children refers to, I hope you know this, it refers to this thing here. So if you, if you extract properties, and children is gonna be this. But honestly, I, I, I doubt you'll be able to, if you don't know what children are, you probably won't understand what you're doing. Anyway, so that's the solution, okay, you see? So now we go back, there's the navbar, we go register, yes, login, no. Okay. Now, you may be tempted to do this in here, right? You might be tempted to do this, uh, use location, and all of this, basically, if you put in here, it's not going to work, because it's going to tell you that you can only use, use location within router, wrapper so use location only works within this um, element this is why you have to create a component wrapper around it right otherwise you're gonna get an error okay take care bye bye